Hello, I'm Landon Schlungen, and today we are going to go through the C-level predictor on FreeCodeCamp, and that can be found in the data analysis with the Python certification. And then underneath all this stuff, we see the C-level predictor. Just hit that, and then we need to access the full project description and start a code on REPL.it. So just let that load up. All right, and here's our project. It's named Boilerplate C-level predictor. And I kind of want to change that to just C-Level Predictor 2 because this is my second time doing this so I can show how to do it. And then just click off and then it should save. And here's our assignment. We need to import data from EPA C-Level.csv. So this data right here, it's all these numbers. And then we have to use matplotlib to make a graph basically. And we have to like predict how much the C-Level will rise through the year 2050. All right, so yeah, we need to make a graph and we start in the sea level predictor.py and it's just one function. So it's not really too much to do. They just don't give us like a reference of how it should look, but overall this, uh, this one's not too bad. So the first thing we have to do is we have to read from the file. So we do df equals pd.readcsv and then we get our CSV file. And then we just change y equaling the series of Cistro adjusted sea level, which is actually in here. It's like this uh, second column. So in this case, it would be 0, 0 0.22, negative 0 0.44, and so on. And then our x would be the year, and the year is the first one. So we take the first two numbers out of this data set. Now we need to create our scatter plot with matplotlib. And this is pretty easy. We just make our subplots figure and axis, plt.subplots, which is the matplotlib pyplot. And then we do plt.scatter, and that makes our scatter plot. And we pass in our x variable and our y variable, or the series at least. Next, we have to create the first line of best fit. So yeah, we're gonna go from 1880 through 2050. And then for the second one, we're gonna just go through the year 2000. So it'd be 2000 through the year 2050. So the first one, this is how we do that. First, we use this line grass function from skippy.stats, or line regress. And we pass in our X and Y series. And then we make our X prediction having the years of 1880 through 2050. And the Y prediction of this line regress variable, dot slope. So this, this res is actually a object. So maybe I can print that out. It has a slope and it has an intercept. And I think it has a bunch of other things on it too. But yeah, this is just mx plus b, how we make a, a line in math. We take the slope times the slope times x. Yeah, we take our slope times our x, and then plus b, which is our y-intercept. And that's what res.intercept is. And then we plot it with uh, matplotlib, and this will just be a line, and we make it red. That's what the r does, it makes it red. So I think I could be able to show this just like it is. I'm just gonna bring this stuff down to add label and titles because this part's pretty easy. We just set X label, set Y label, and set title. And then I should be able to run it and then see this line of best fit and our scatter plot. And then we'll make the second line of best fit. And then yeah, it takes a little while to update dependencies and stuff. All right, let's run it. Let's do install again, apparently. All right, there we go, it ran it. We ran four tests and had one failure, so. Seems like we got some of it right. So this is what our print res printed out. Line regress result. And then we have a slope, we have intercept, an R value, we have a P value, a standard dir or ST dir, intercept, standard deviation. I'm guessing that's standard deviation. Not sure though. But yeah, we also got our C level plot.png. So let's take a look at that. And here it is. Here's our scatter plot with the year on the bottom and the sea level in inches, and it looks like it's been rising. And then next up, we have to use just from the year 2000, where it's been rising faster, it looks like, and we have to go through 2050 on that one. So let's do that, create second line of best fit. It's gonna be a lot like this one, except the range is gonna be a little different. So here's how we do this one. First, we just grab the data points where the year is greater than or equal to 2000. That's what this does. So in our CSV, we only grab the ones after 2000. So that's our new data set. And then we set our new X and our new Y to that, to the year and the 
Cicero adjusted sea level. And then we do our line graphs, our X prediction, Y prediction, and then plot it. Same as before, just with new values uh, for the X value. It's just 2000 through 2050 instead of from 1880. And then we put in the slope, our X value, and then our intercept. And we plot it, this time we make it green. Let's try running this. Looks like it still failed, but there's a reason for that. And here's our new graph. And here you can see we have our green line that's shooting up steeper. And that is the line of best fit from 2000 through 2050, if it continued. So yeah, pretty cool there. The reason why this is failing is because the decimal places are a little bit off. At least I'm pretty sure. I mean, these do look pretty dang equal. Hmm, not really sure. Maybe it's like this shapes 170, but instead we have 171. Hmm, not exactly sure what's going on there. And it says it's for the first line of best fit. So maybe I have to get rid of 1880 and just do 1881? I don't know, I can try it. Oh, so now it says 169, 171 instead of 170. So then let's try 1879 and try that. But now this is off by one. So it's got to be 1880. And maybe I just have to extend the 2050 to 2051. Yeah, I just played with this a little bit more. It turns out that that one failure was on the second line. And all we had to do was change the second line to be 51 as the same as this first one, which is also 51. And then it runs all the tests correctly. So if I run this, all the tests should pass. Overall, this uh, project was not too bad. Just uh, this little bit of code here. And it's actually relatively easier to understand, in my opinion. Next up, so we got done with the sea level predictor, which is the last one for the data analysis with Python. So we're going on to information security certification. And this first part, uh, you guys can just do on your own. It's not too bad. And then we have this Python penetration testing, which is actually just a bunch of videos to watch. And I did not really understand all of it, so. Uh, the next thing we have is the stock price checker. And the stock price checker has to do something like this, where we can get a price of, say, like Tesla, get their price, and then it returns their price, real-time price, and how many likes they have. It's kind of neat. I can try getting first Majestic, with AG, and that's 16.32. But yeah, this is what we're gonna be building in the next uh, installment. Anyways, if you liked the video, give it a like. Comment down below if you have any questions. I read all the comments. And I will see you next time. Bye.